Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys taking some time to watch the video. And today I'm gonna to start a little series, probably like a two or three part series on swim jigs because in my opinion, May and really the first part of June is the best time of the year to fish a swim, bit, swim jig. So during the course of this series, I'm gonna talk about colors, trailers, retrieves, everything you need to know about swim jigs. And today I wanna to talk specifically about the jig colors, not the trailer colors, but the jig colors. and sort of explain to you guys when and why I use them. And anyway, for, if you guys are interested in any swim jigs, um, I'm gonna be talking about the Mega Bass Uzo Swimmer that uh, Bait Works here in Springfield, Missouri has got one of the hugest giant selections of swim jigs of anywhere in the country. I'll include the Bait Works link in the description. And uh, if you use that link, it's a great way to support the channel. And by the way, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't, man. We got a big giveaway coming up for 70,000 subscribers. Probably gonna hit that in the next, you know, four or five days here. So um, if you guys want to get in on that giveaway, please hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated. <coughs> okay, guys, let's talk about the swim jig, man. I love fishing swim jigs, man. I've been fishing them forever. And you, a lot of you guys that haven't been around very long in fishing, you may not have known it, but the technique of fishing a swim jig actually got discovered by accident. I think I was one of the guys on early on that really uh, got into it early on. And it started out by guys like myself and other people out there that, that flipped a lot. We flipped jigs into bushes and grass and that type of stuff. And what happened, and I remember how I figured it out, it's like I started, you know, I was flipping bushes and grass on Lake Dardanelle in Arkansas. This has been like 30 years ago. And uh, when I pulled my jig out of the bush, I started just reeling it back in and a fish came up on the surface almost and grabbed it, you know, and then I'll be, that happened a couple more times and it doesn't take many, many times for that to happen. You, <laughs> you realize that, um, you know, something's going on there. So that's where the technique of actually purposely swimming a jig came into effect. And <clears throat> over the years, there's been a tremendous amount of advancements in the jigs themselves, the design of them and the trailers. And uh, we'll talk about that throughout the course of the series. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the three basic colors that I use in swim jig fishing and really go into detail why and when I use each one of those things. Um, like I said, the, the jigs that I'm talking about here are the Mega Bass Uzo Swimmer. I'm going to start out with the black and blue. Um, now the Uzo Swimmer, it comes with a spinner on it here and sometimes I like the spinner and sometimes I don't. If the fish are really finicky or if the water's a little bit on the cleaner side, I'll just cut that wire off of there with a pair of clippers and just use it like a regular swim jig. But the reason I like the Uzo Swimmer, it's got a nano-coated hook, guys. If you guys have never used nano-coated hooks, this is the wave of the future. These nano-coated hooks are the best hooks you can use. Gamagatsu's got a full line of them. They're, they're extremely slick. It almost feels like you got oil or something on them. Uh, chemically sharpened points, super, super sharp. They're stiff, they're small diameter. Uh, it's got this particular model, the Uzo Swimmer's got a really good uh, uh, keeper on it. This is critical on a swim jig. You want a good keeper on there to keep that uh, plastic on there. And then um, nice hand tied skirt, silicone in this case, and a weed guard that's not too thick. You don't want a real thick weed guard on a, on a swim jig because you're not flipping it and pitching it into heavy cover. Um, and then your head design also has to be, um, you know, where it allows the bait to run straight without running on the side. So your swim, your swim head or the head design on it is more narrow, conical shape. Shape. Man, I'm sweating. Just got out of the gym. Gosh, I'm still sweating from being in the gym. So anyway, I've got three different colors here. I'm gonna start out talking about the black and blue. To me, there's two um, considerations when you want to pick the color of your swim jig. Number one is the water clarity. Number two is what the bass are feeding on or what they're preferring to feed on at that time of year. So the time that I like the black and blue jig two situations that the water clarity is between you would think that you'd want a, a super uh, you know dirty water for a dark jig but that's not the case i like the black and blue jig when i have water visibility between say 12 and 15 inches that to me is the ideal scenario with the black and blue jig um, also i like a black and blue jig um, early in the morning late in the day and if you have any type of tannic water like tannic acid type water that's why the black and blue works really good in lakes where you have submergent grass, like, you know, TVA lakes, uh, Florida lakes, Texas lakes, Gulf Coast lakes, 
some of the lakes up north that have vegetation. Black and blue is hard to beat on a lake that has vegetation. So they, you know, and a black and blue, like I said, I, it, you know, it, you think it's going to resemble a crawdad, but you don't see a crawdad swimming across the surface. I don't know if it resembles anything to the fish other than a profile, but I do know that the color of black and blue is really good. And like I said, 12 to 15 inches of visibility early and late, late in the day, low light conditions or around grass. So that's my selection for that. My next one, and this is the one that's uh, probably uh, the favorite of most people is the shad pattern. Um, some type of a white or pearlescent shad pattern. This is the most popular swim jig color probably. And this is really good in the month of May and June when you have bass feeding on spawning shad. You know, shad sp spawn a lot in May, early part of June. This is really good uh, color of that situation. And another time that I use the whites and the pearls is in dirty, dirty water. If I'm fishing water visibility that's under 12 inches, like that six to 12 inch zone, specifically if the fish are really shallow, they can be around wood, they can be around grass, they can be around docks, whatever, but that dirty, muddy water, um, really shallow, I like some type of a shad pattern with that. And you know, the, the type of shad pattern is dependent, again, upon specifically the water visibility and the sunlight conditions. If it's dirty, dirty water, and it's maybe windy or cloudy, I'll go with like the bright white on there, like a solid white. And if it's sunny out and maybe the water visibility is, is closer to 12 inches instead of six inches, I'll put some more pearls and break it up with some, uh, maybe some, some type of a blue glimmer or something like that where it's not quite so bright. But this is a really good color and dirty water. Now my favorite color for a swim jig and the, the ones that I've done the best on is a perch pattern. And there's a lot of different perch patterns, but most of the time a perch pattern is some type of, you know, green pumpkin, yellow, oranges, that, that type of uh, colors in there. A lot of different variations depending upon the sunfish that you want to duplicate. <clears throat> Guys, in my opinion, um, the, the perch pattern is the most versatile color in a swim jig. It works in uh, water visibility is between 12 inches and three feet. I don't use a swim jig, hardly any, if the water visibility is over three feet. But that one to three foot visibility in a variety of conditions, this is just a killer bait. And this is a really good bait to cover water with in really shallow water when those fish are up um, feeding on perch, which they do like in late May and early June, you know, and during the summer even, because anytime the water's over 70 degrees, the bluegill and sunfish in lakes across the country, they spawn all summer. They'll spawn three or four times. And you can go back into those areas like where you have overhanging trees, super shallow water in the backs of the coves where you don't think bass will be in the early summer. And you can whack them on a, on a perch colored uh, swim jig. So guys, anyway, here's my, here's my main three colors. You know, you've got the uh, perch pattern, the white, black and blue. Those are just three variations of that. Um, those are really the only ones that you need. Um, I'll talk, we'll go into probably tomorrow a little bit. We'll talk some more about trailers and we'll talk about tree retrieves and that type of stuff. But that will just give you a foundation here of what to look for as far as your colors. But now's the time, guys. May and June is the two best months for swim jigs. They're biting them right now. And by the time we get done to the series, hopefully I can help you guys uh, get a few more swim jig bites because it's a super fun way to catch them. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys later.